about women who once upon a time might have found their height a handicap. Not anymore. Now the ability to tower above the crowd is being celebrated on the screen, on fashion pages, in the sports arena. Tonight, Keith Morrison finds it's a tall world after all, a Dateline People magazine exclusive. The Amazon woman. In classical mythology, she was a giant man-killing warrior. I'm going to tell the king about this. In early American pop culture, she spoke loudly and carried a pointy stick. The tall woman was awkward, ungainly, a freak. But now, suddenly, the Amazon woman is everywhere. Who are you? Name's Charlie. Gina, Tyra, Uma, Gwyneth, Daisy. <laughs> Finally, it's okay to be tall. Daisy Fuentes, MTV VJ, Revlon model, actress, and now sexy calendar girl, stands 5'10 in her stocking feet. Well, how tall are you? I'm, I'm extremely tall. I'm 7 foot 6. <laughs> that means you're about, what, 7'3? Yes. Um, there are women who carry themselves very elegantly. Take Brooke Shields, take Ellen McPherson, Cindy Crawford, Claudia Shifford, uh, Carolyn the new Mrs. Kennedy. And they're very elegant women. But for Ms. Fuentes, height didn't always feel like such an asset. By the time she was 12, she was already a giant. 5'10 really isn't that tall now at all, but when you're that young, it is, and it's a little traumatizing. You felt big and like a sore thumb or an ugly duckling? Like an Amazon woman. <laughs> then, at 16, Daisy got her first break as a model. Suddenly, being a giant was jolly and green. The taller you were, the more modeling you could do. Gee, and then did you want to be even taller than you were? Yes, the taller you were, the more money you made, actually. <laughs> more money for more inches? It may sound like a tall tale, but some scientists think it's true. Taller people tend to make more money. It's been estimated that for every inch of height, you can add $600 of salary. Harvard neuroscientist Nancy Etkoff has an interesting job. She studies the biology of beauty. People assume that taller people are friendlier, more powerful, more intelligent, more mature, more in control of their life. But while being a vertically blessed dream icon admired by millions might be kind of nice, when it comes to dating, Amazons don't always have more fun. So if you're with a man who's a little insecure about your height, do you find yourself shortening down a little bit? No, I find myself nowhere around him. Ah. <laughs> I see. Yeah, why bother? Yeah. There are plenty of lovely short women for men like that. Woof. <laughs> this tall trend seems likely to continue. In the next 50 years, the average height for women is expected to head north about three inches to five foot seven. 